All right, folks, moving on to the exam style questions. And so here we go with a new um, set of points. And let's find the vector AB. I guess AB is 2, 0, negative 1. And the vector AC is 3, 2, 2. Did I do that correctly? I think I did that correctly. So then when we cross product those, we set up our good friend IJK with the first vector, with the second vector, we get <clears throat> I times 0 plus 2 minus J times 4 plus 3 plus K times 4 minus 0. I think I did that right. You should double check it for yourself. So that gives me 2, negative 7, and 4. And so that is it for question A. That's worth 4 marks on the test. So really, it's a very mechanical process. You could also just use the formula that is given to you, the A2 minus A2B3 minus B3A2, and, and go through it that way. Okay, that is part A. Find the exact value for the area of triangle ABC. Well, the, the cross product has this wonderful property that the magnitude of the cross product is the area of the parallelogram formed by your two vectors. And a triangle is half of a parallelogram. And so what we have to do in order to answer part B is just do one half times the magnitude of the vector that we just found, 2, 7, negative 4. So the area of, I guess I should, well, sure, the area in question B is that. And so the area is going to be 1 half times the square root of 2 squared plus 7 squared plus 4 squared, which makes a freshman's favorite number of 69, lovely. So that's the exact value, a half times the square root of 69. Now we have part C, show that the Cartesian equation of the plane pi 1, which, well, there's a little grammatical error, which contains the triangle ABC is that. And so all we need to do is choose our favorite point A, B, or C to plug in. And just recall again that when you have a normal vector, when you do the cross product, you get a normal vector. When you have a normal vector and you dot product that with an arbitrary vector in the plane, you get zero. And so what I'm going to do is take our normal vector and I'm going to take my favorite point, B, and I'm going to dot product normal vector with x minus b, y minus b, z minus b. So what we're going to do is write down 2, negative 7, 4, dotted with x minus 3, y minus 0, z minus 0. And that will equal 0 because the dot product of any two perpendicular vectors must be 0. And so we get... 2 times x minus 3 minus 7y plus 4z equals 0. Distribute the 2. And then just move the 6 to the other side. And you have the equation of the plane that was requested. Boop, boop, boop. Great. The second plane is given by a second equation. Find the line of intersection of those two planes. Okay, so I'm going to delete everything because I don't need any of those answers anymore. And so when you have two planes, they're going to intersect in a line. Um, unless they're parallel, then they, they don't intersect. But you're not going to be able to solve for all three variables because that would give you a point. You're just going to solve for one of them. I like to use elimination here. What I notice is that if I multiply plane 2 times 4, then it's going to match up with plane 1. So here is plane 2 times 4. And by match up, I just mean that the z coordinates are going to be identical. Now I'm just writing plane 1 again down below it for clarity. And I'm going to subtract top minus bottom, leaving me with 10x minus 13y is equal to negative 2. This is a perfectly fine equation of a line of intersection of those planes.
It just says find the line intersection and I chose to leave it in standard form. So any xy point that satisfies that equation will be in both of the planes and will also describe a line that is uh, the, the points of all, all points that those two planes have in common. So there you go. Um, that's worth a lot of marks on an IB test. And in my opinion, it is a very straightforward application of the cross product, the dot product, and then just elimination. So those are very gettable points.